In this week's episode, we are celebrating all things British. We are going to a jubilee party in the French countryside. We are also going to be making a special dessert for that very same party, looking at some of the British antiques in the chateau, showing you our roses in their first flush of summer, as well as taking you off to Cyprus, where we are going to meet Simon's family and see who gets this letter from the Queen and why. Also, next week, we're going to be showing you a very big renovation project in the chateau so if you have not already liked commented and especially subscribed please do we are so grateful for your support and life will always be la vie en rose. we are happy and glorious happy and glorious <laughs> and why is that well it's the queen's jubilee this weekend and uh, i'm british and so I'm um, looking forward to celebrating that. And I am from one of the former colonies, mm -hmm. although having lived many years in Scotland and in England. If you've been watching our recent videos, know that we were just in America for my brother's wedding. But of course we couldn't go see my family once things opened up with the pandemic and things were safer to visit our older relatives without also visiting Simon's family. And so we have been waiting to show you this very special footage because someone in Simon's family or maybe someone's, received a very special letter. From whom? From the Queen. From Her Majesty. From the Queen, queen herself. Yeah. So this isn't just a special week honoring the Queen and the 70th anniversary of her coronation, yeah. but also the special connection of Simon's family, who are also now my family, and I love them very much with the royal family. So this is going to be great. What does it take to get a letter from the Queen? You're also going to find that out. Find it out a bit later. But first, we are off to a jubilee party Absolutely. here in France. So we have been invited by a lot of other expats who live in the area as well as some French people I think are going to be there too because Her Royal Highness is very popular here in France as well. Votre Majesté, j'ai le privilège de vous adresser au nom du peuple français mes félicitations les plus sincères pour votre jubilé de platine. This year, the 70th of your reign, we celebrate your achievements. We are grateful for your courage and we share the respect and love that the British people and Commonwealth have always shown you. Any chance to wear a tiara? A 70th anniversary. <laughs> yes, yeah. it is. And we also, it's a potluck, and so we're about to go create special dessert to take along with us. And then we are also going to introduce you to Simon's family, who are currently in Cyprus. And so this is going to be a very fun episode. <laughs> party that is potluck we're going to be bringing a union jack tart so we start with a lemon meringue tart made with very british lemon curd we are going to be adding strawberries and blueberries and then we have a finishing touch to make it look extra special and extra festive now using a bit of wax paper i'm going to map this out before i ruin the beautiful meringue of the tart so now the shape is coming together I'm now going to give the fruit a little wash with apricot jam, which is what the French do to make their fruit tarts look so glossy and beautiful. I'm all done, and I have to say, I am very pleased with how it's turned out. Oh, see, that looks great. Yeah. <laughs> it's a union jack tart, lovely. What a great idea. You're just in time for the pièce de la résistance, the dancing queen. The dancing queen. Look, it's the queen. I'm so, really amazed you found that, but she's solar panelled. I've been charging her all day long. Solar panelled. I think she's, she might have a solar battery. So she's solar charged. Right. 
<laughs> she actually does have a solar panel. Yeah, okay. <laughs> She's got a crown on just like me. Uh, well, you've got a crown on like her because I think she had hers on first. This is true. And it's true. She likes to dance. <laughs> she does. Just like, like me. Just like you. And <laughs> see. Is she going? She's going to go right. You're going to put her in the middle? Oh, oh my gosh. <gasps> Kate, <Whoa! laughs> Are we taking anything to drink? Yes. Look what I found. I couldn't find British wine because it's France and they're pretty picky, but I did find Penfolds, which is Australian and is still Commonwealth. So for all of you Aussies out there, we're going to be drinking Australian wine in France. If you've seen some previous episodes, you'd be forgiven for thinking that we are obsessed with French antiques, but in fact, we have a number of English antiques as well, which we adore. This particular thing is my favorite. It is our piano, and it is from a company called B Squire, which dates back to the 1830s in London. And I particularly love this company story because when Mr. Squire died, his wife Betsy took over, naming the company B Squire. And our dining chairs couldn't be any more English if they tried. These are Chippendale chairs, and the Chippendale Company dates back to the mid-18th century. Here you see a carver with a dining chair. Chippendale is easily identifiable from the shape of its backs and the ball and claw feet, but also uniquely with the needlepoint seat covers, which often feature these very unusually shaped birds. Here you see the seat cover of the carver and the main chairs. It is really weird, really wonderful, and as you know, I love collecting all things with bird themes. From that same George II era, here we have a chair which is attributed to Giles Grundy, and it's a completely different shape with a lovely burr walnut finish. The shapes and styles of British furnishings are completely unique to Great Britain and look very different to the French furnishings, although I love mixing them and think that they look really super together. If you saw last week's big orangery before and after and reveal episode, you might have noticed these two very unusual small chairs with low seats. These are actually Victorian nursing chairs. They look like children's chairs, but the reason the seat is so low is so that women in their corsets could breastfeed without having Having to bend over. I've got the tart on my lap. The weather is quintessentially British here in France for our day out. Oh, it's very spring like. <laughs> hold on. Uh oh, I've got to hold on to the tart on this little bridge. I think that's the house where we're going up ahead. It's going to be really nice to meet some new people in our area because the pandemic happened right after we moved here. That's right. This is uh, fantastic. Oh, it's adorable. It is very pretty. So we've got a chateau in the Off background. Our little tart. And look at this. Very British in the French countryside with beautiful roses. came home just before sunset and our own roses are in full bloom. So just taking a little moment now to show you these. It truly is La Vie en Rose at our Petit Chateau here in the French countryside.
I wanted to show all of you this beautiful gift that Isabella just sent me from London. It is a candle that has been created inside of a vintage teacup. It's from the Duchess Candles in Covent Garden, and it's such a clever idea for any of you out there that are looking for a craft or are into candle making. Jasmine and vanilla soy candle in a vintage teacup. What could be more delightful? When you kiss me, heaven sighs, and though I close my I see la vie We have arrived in Cyprus. It is a huge change from France, but we are so happy to be here to see Simon's family. The landscapes here are striking and the architecture is completely different from anything that we're accustomed to. That in front of us is the hospital. I just can't get over the incredible vegetation, especially the bougainvillea in every color that's growing everywhere, like a weed. And here we are on the drive to Simon's sister's house. Here we are at my sister and brother-in-law's house. It is so beautiful. You're looking pretty snazzy too. This is a quite the ensemble you have happening, Simon. This is a Cypress mix. It's a Cypress mix. Okay, well, we're gonna go with that. Look at this. Cypress check mix. I love the bougainvillea too. Look at all of that. <gasps> so gorgeous. Nice out there. Did you see the, get the swimming area? Yeah, it's beautiful. I couldn't believe how warm the water was as well. It's beautiful, isn't it? Really beautiful. That's oh, incredible. It's like uh, 30 degrees or something. King barbecue. Look at this. How could this be any more marvelous? This is a proper open air barbecue right here. <laughs> oh, we've got chicken, we've got lamb, we've got some fish. and a fairly snazzy chef to boot. There we go. I'm gonna show everybody your view while you're barbecuing. Oh, that'd be nice. Look at that. Yeah. Some nice lamb, some nice uh, yeah. lamb here and some nice chicken, beautiful. You've got some lovely sea bream for me as well, Over don't here. you? Over here, this is the sea bream. <laughs> Put that on at the end. That won't take long. Put that on with the pita bread. Well, your sister is certainly spoiling us. Oh, yes. And it would appear that I have the best seat in the house. A real job? A chateau to renovate? I don't think so. Not this week. Although I might need to go rescue poor Luna's ball. So here I am standing out on my sister's terrace in Cyprus and if you can see just over there behind me the coastline of Turkey. Those are the mountains just there. 50 miles separates us here 
from the Turkish coast. <laughs> what is that noise? <laughs> Luna! <laughs> <laughs> Luna, where's your ball? <laughs> Good girl. So there's a Turkish lady here who set up her stall and she's doing pancakes. Uh, Turkish traditional Turkish pancakes with meat stuffing. And, uh, no. This is uh, spicy uh, peppers here. And then I guess these are fruits and olives. Those are crazy, yeah? She just set right up here. That bread looks like, um, like the flour they use in pancakes, you know? Almost like pita. Yes. Yeah. 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 It looks beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> and there's cheese in it. Ooh. It looks like there's a goat's cheese. This, uh, Delicious. This cheese here. Or spread. No. no. Oil. Oh, this is oil. oil. Okay. And sugar. I'm very good at cheese. Okay, very good. <laughs> <laughs> Trusty Jeep driving through the streets. <laughs> Where are we headed tonight? Beach Ooh, a beach restaurant. Fantastic. What have we got here? Okay, so this is a cold meta plate with uh, okay hummus and some aubergine. This will be aubergine. This will be halloumi. Uh, this will be beetroot, oh, olives, okay. uh, this will be tomato okay. salsa, this is uh, uh, satsiki, and uh, that I'm not sure about. It looks like it's, um, it's not sure what that is. But anyway, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> Everything I do. This is the life. I'm about to hop into this lovely hammock and have a little bit of a siesta. <laughs> Today we're going to go sailing. Here we are at Gurna Marina, uh, which is in northern Cyprus, and this is where the boat is. And uh, you can probably hear it in the background, just getting ready to go. And we're going to go out for a day for sailing for uh, a couple of hours, just before lunch on a Sunday. Well, it's not far down to paradise. At least it's not far. If the wind is right, you can sail away. It's really beautiful. Find tranquility. Can you scan And the mountains miracle? in the distance. Just you wait and see. Believe me. Oh, how lovely. It's not far to never, never live. She's a beauty. If the wind here, is right, you can find joy. But your boat is beautiful. <laughs> it's beautiful. Okay. Yeah, don't lean on the. <laughs> okay, is that how that works? Takes me away. Steve, say hello, Steve. Hello, hello. Marvelous father in law. Hello. <laughs> And a spectacular day for it. So what's, the, so what's the name of this port? So this is the Kyrenia port and that's the Kyrenia castle? That's extraordinary. Do you know how old it is? <laughs> really, really, really old. <laughs> I mean, it, is it Templar, do you think? It's very old. Right. Well, even on a day out sailing, we can't uh, we can't have Chateau Love without a castle thrown in.
Here we are next to the castle walls. And look at this wonderful restaurant where we're having lunch. Simon and his parents on their way. I am really looking forward to this. These are wisteria trees everywhere. It is stunning. <laughs> Look, the black sails. So we are fascinated by this boat. It is neither a pirate boat nor a Viking boat. You've got a speeding ticket. It's called a Happy Dolphin Boat Tour. It's got a water slide does no, foam parties. Looks like it's about to crash with the <laughs> tall shit behind it. And this is the most fun I think we've ever had sitting and having lunch, watching all this happen. <laughs> the size of that bloke on the front of that <laughs> one. It looks like a lot of fun to me. It actually looks like a lot of fun, doesn't it? <laughs> They've got a nicer water slide. Ooh, the other one has a water slide too. <laughs> No, that's a bad one. It's that. the hour of the warring party like boats. Yes. At the same time as the call to prayer. Ah, the British Hotel. Was that back in 1963? Yeah. yeah. When I was a little baby boy. Ah. <laughs> just born. <laughs> and that was the only hotel here. And all of this was just beach. And there was one bar that was open down there called the Tuleman Bar. That was the only bar. And then at the end was uh, just the harbour. And the Harbour Inn. The Harbour Inn. Where, where all the famous Oliver actors. Oliver Reed and Vivian Lee uh, used to go drinking, yep. Lawrence Olivier. Lawrence Olivier, yep. And Edward Woodward. Edward Woodward, yep. Yeah. All and of them. all the big stars. Oliver Reed, I know. They had to keep filling up every few uh, weeks. <laughs> but yeah, they were all there. And your parents. Yeah. Getting loved up with all the famous actors of the day. Enjoying, enjoying what was a very bohemian place. And that's why your parents love it so much. That's why they love it here. This used to be, there was none of this development here. It used to be just a really secret little harbour to come and stay. And it's still quite unspoiled, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it is. Well, it's, compared it's to the south up. side. Yeah, it's all Compared to the Greek up, side, yes but it's still really this area, lovely. Yeah, this area is very touristy. Simon got a, an ice cream to match his shirt. Yeah, it's meant to be bubblegum flavour, but it really doesn't taste of bubblegum. What does it taste like? I don't know, it just kind of has a neutral flavour. Oh. Hmm. Funny, isn't it? <laughs> I think we all have the same opinion of the bubblegum ice cream. Mm -hmm. 
I haven't even tasted she had that face. You should have stuck with vanilla, just like your father. He had the right idea. Yeah. Simon decided he didn't like that other ice cream, and so he's come back to this one. Let's see if this one's any better. Yeah, that's ice cream. Okay, good. Shall you get another one for your father? No, he likes that one. Okay, good. He calls it rubbery ice cream. <laughs> he likes it. Too. It's made of cornstarch. <laughs> they say, oh yeah, you only get this rubbery ice cream in Cyprus. And, I'm like, oh. and after all that complaining, Steve bought himself a whole ice yeah, cream cone got, of it as well. Steve went and got himself some too. And then dad, dad said to me, he said, have you, have you finished all yours already? I said, yes. <laughs> he said, you liar. <laughs> so I've thrown it away. It, was, it actually is quite... If you're used to ice cream, it's really kind of weird. <laughs> okay. But you've got really nice ice cream now. But this, I've got real yes. ice cream. Now. This is Mardo. <laughs> Friends popping up everywhere. Very well. Yeah. to St. Andrew's Church in Parinia. We're here today because my parents have had a card from the Queen, no less. And so, Mom, why don't you explain what this is all about? This is a card to celebrate our wedding anniversary, diamond wedding anniversary, which the Queen has sent to us. Okay. Yeah. The Queen of England. And she, she signed it. The Commonwealth. So, married for 60 years with four beautiful children, two of whom unfortunately can't oh, be with us. Four wonderful children <laughs> who look after us, who are really very, very good to us, keep in touch with us. We speak to them nearly every week. Yes. Or at least every couple of weeks. Yeah, I'm just yeah. so grateful that uh, yeah. we have such wonderful Aww. children. Aww. All and how many grandchildren? Uh, six grandchildren. <laughs> One with our oldest son and <laughs> daughter-in-law, Isabella. Yes. Uh, and knows. we have uh, the two girls in Australia. And then we have our youngest one, uh -huh. who has three children. And there's the Queen. Show the picture of the Queen. So I don't think we saw Oh, that. that's a beautiful picture that's on the, the card. front. When you received when your card the from queen. the Queen, what oh, was that like? That was absolutely fantastic out of this world. Yeah. It really was. I was good. absolutely thought it was wonderful. Yeah. I am a great monarchist mm -hmm. and I, would, I love the Queen and the royal family. And it's yeah, very that was touching. Really all I could have asked for. Oh, 60 years. What's that like? 60 years. Being married uh, for 60 uh, years. Do you really want me to ask him? <laughs> <laughs> what would I do without him? I know. Oh, 60 years. What would I do without him? Well, it's a bit more than 60 years now, isn't it? 61. Yes, it's. Yes. Yes, well, well, the Queen wasn't, you know, yeah. I mean, there was a pandemic. It took a moment for her there to was, get the card out. A, yes, <laughs> so, so yes, it's true that you two have there actually been married for 62 down. years. Yeah, there's a long delay because of the pandemic. Obviously. Exactly. Oh. He is extremely romantic. <laughs> he is extremely romantic. He is. Oh. And hopefully we will see you all for many years yet. Oh. The magic spell you cast This is la vie en rose When you kiss me Heaven sighs And though I close my eyes I see la vie en rose When you press
Press me to your heart 